Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, we're going to be going through the basic settings here. So you have an idea of what those different things do before we go into the advanced options. Now, I, I know I said we would in this video, but I lied. So uh, unintentionally, so don't judge me. OK, so input mode. If you want to remap just one function, that's right here, nice and simple. Just click, and it'll allow you to change it. Advanced will give you the option of sequencing up to six things in a row. So you have to select over here what you're doing, whether it's none, hotkey, or click. Hotkey, you just press over here. It gives you that same panel. If you want to do a location, go over here, drag to the location that you want to map it to. If you're using the pen, you just drag and lift the pen up, and it'll map that location. Keep in mind, you want to do that when the window is in full screen mode, whatever program you're using, so that those locations don't move. And you'll figure that out pretty quickly if you do it wrong. When you press the button the first time, it'll do Control-Z. The second time, it'll click this spot. Third time, it'll click this spot. These coordinates won't do anything bad. If you have hotkeys selected, they will just be ignored. If you want to go back to simple mode, click on Simple. All right, let's go down to the list, Smart Modifiers. This is super cool, it's something that I'm very happy about. I'll demonstrate this in the next video, but this lets you press the side button and it turns on the modifier. If you hold on, if you hold down the side button, it will switch to the next one. So it might start out with Alt, just tap the side button, use the pen, and it'll do Alt, hold it down for a second and a half, it'll switch to Control and uh, hold it down for a second and a half to switch to Shift. And again, I'll demonstrate that. Alt plus left click, hover the pen, tap the button, it will send Alt and left click at the same time. So if you're picking colors inside of Photoshop or another program, this is the fastest way to do it. It does not um, let you drag at the same time on the screen. Screen grab, this performs Win plus Shift plus S. So it'll trigger a screen grab. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, this is barrel. All right, so now I have a screen grab. So all three of these, these, these are a group. So that means if you select Alt, Control, or Shift, all of these use the same settings here. Uh, I will go into more detail on how these work by default. Tap to unlock is selected. I recommend keeping it there unless you have a problem or you're using a 3D program. And then you may want to uncheck that and use 3D modeling. You can alternately uncheck all of them if you need to. There's more information here in the tooltip for both of these. So feel free to read that. Left click, middle click, and right click. These are all hover events. That means that press the button and it will send the uh, right click while the pen is floating just barely above the screen. Get pixel coordinates. That means if I'm right here, and I click the barrel button. It's going to copy the location. You can use this inside of uh, other programs that need coordinates. Uh, you can use this inside of Tablet Pro to get the location of a button. So instead of dragging to a location, let's say I want to click right here, then I can paste that. It copies it to the clipboard. I can paste that. You can alternately, you can use Alt X on the keyboard to do the same thing. Here, we're going to go to Color Picker. This doesn't work all the time, and uh, we've made some improvements, so it should work better, but it does not work perfectly. So notice that this is getting a black color. Just do it again, and usually with a little wiggling or a second try, it'll get the right color, and it gives you a hex color. Uh, Cortana does exactly what you think. Um, it's going to um, call Cortana need to apply. Hi, Cortana. How are you? It's not going to answer me. We had a fight. Mouse mode. Uh, this is still somewhat um, experimental. This requires Tablet Pro. That's the little mouse icon down here. This feature requires it to be installed. It'll turn the screen into a full screen trackpad. So you can click on different things, uh, right click, hover events, uh, drag. 
Uh, this will automatically deactivate after a short time. I think it's about 10 seconds. So if you use it and it turns off, that would be why. If you want to use it for longer than that, I recommend actually just going to the Tablet Pro mode. You choose full screen here. And of course, you need Tablet Pro installed for this or full screen right here as an option. And then there's none. Uh, for Bluetooth, you have some different options here. These are different Tablet Pro modes. So all of these you need Tablet Pro installed for. Again, these are extra features. And input is the current options. And I will try and add shortly the advanced options so that you can click locations or do multiple hotkeys. All right, that's it for this video. Again, if you like the pen tool, please write us up in the Windows Store. Uh, we greatly, I personally greatly appreciate that. Just go here scroll down a little bit and put your rating right here. My goal is to get us to four stars uh, or better. So I think I only need like 19 five star ratings to do that. So if you value the pen tool, you want it to improve, you find it useful, even if it's not perfect, uh, good rating there goes a long way. All right, that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about the advanced mode for real this time, I promise. Probably. Okay, bye.